are doing some glorious sanding today here in the cockpit. Getting those edges prepped to do a little bit of fiberglass patching and prep to install our new core. Speaking of new core, Joel is down here getting that core ready. We got the new fiberglass laid up and now he's just prepping those edges. We had a lot of overlap going on. That going on, but the roller will help press some of the stuff in. And I'll start rolling with you. Of the effects that I was hoping for. But dang. Looks good. So we laid up two strips of fiberglass on each side because we had cracking in the bond between the sides and the sole. So we're just trying to give it a little bit of extra strength there, bond the bottom to the sides of the cockpit before we put our core in, because that's going to be decently heavy. Some corners are a little bit dry. Here, could have taken some more resin, but for the most part, it's really transparent and it's really well stuck to What did sides. you do to prep the gel coat over uh, here before yeah. you laid fiberglass? Yeah, so I washed it with acetone and then I sanded it with 60 grit paper and then I actually used some 40 grit paper to really rough it up and then I washed it with acetone again and yeah, and it was ready to take that adhesive. Come check out the workshop. These guys took off, left their boat here and uh, it's the best way to stay out of the rain and do some fiberglassing. pretty pretty much set we just did this maybe an hour hour and a half ago thickened polyester resin with a fairing compound trying to seal up the edges of our honeycomb core we're here part number two I think <laughs> I think we epoxied it to the plastic this is our plywood core that the pedestal is going to sit on so this is going to be a cutout section in the middle of our honeycomb where our pedestal sits. And we had three pieces of half inch plywood. So we epoxied them together, a uh, double decker sandwich style. Now we're just waiting for that to cure. Pretty good. You can push it around, but it's still deep enough to ooze into the nooks and crannies. I think this is supposed to be your uh, warm peanut butter type of mixture that we're looking at here. Before we do the sides, stay true. We run out of shore power from time to time here, which has really made us appreciate this pure sign inverter. Michael's using the sander and the vacuum, the wet dry vac at the same time.
So we epoxied three pieces of this plywood together. We got it in a half inch and the core is one inch thick. So we decided to go a little bit taller than the core. Um, just figuring that that would be better than having a indentation where the pedestal sits. This is to support our pedestal so we don't have to worry about it compressing any of the honeycomb. This would be a nice solid base. Right now we're just sanding up the edges to get those even. Honeycomb laminated with two layers of bioxyl cloth on each side and we spread thickened epoxy all the way along the edges inside of each of the honeycombs and it's a brick house. Can you explain to us your sick obsession with sanding? What are you talking about? It's not a sick obsession, it's therapeutic. All right, all right, you guys gotta come see this. Oh, they're cutting it. Oh, they're cutting it to pieces. Thought they were lighting it on fire. All right, the space is prepped, the pieces are prepped. All that's left now is the grand finale, installing Stay tuned, subscribe, thumbs up, it's gonna be epic. These are the tales of Boab.